So in this video, we are actually looking at uh, a question on economic order quantity with uh, discounts. So how do you answer such questions? Well, there are some rules that we follow, which will be highlighted in this video. And uh, of course, as we read the whole question, it will begin to make sense. The first part, the question, that's question two there on the screen. Kutemo Limited is a small manufacturing company based in Kitwe. The expected demand for a regular component is 2,000 units per month. The item can be purchased from Kutemo Limited. Okay, their discount lists are shown in the table. Ordering cost is 200 kwacha and annual carrying cost per unit is at 75%. The cost of acquiring each unit is 20 kwacha. There is a table showing you the quantities, the ranges, and um, the discount as well. Yeah, then, okay, I'll come and explain that very soon. You have just been hired as operations manager for this company. In order to advise the purchasing manager in making the decision, you need to determine the economic order quantity. If the purchasing manager wants to consider quantity discount, what quantity should she order and why? So you want to determine the optimal order quantity, which is the EOQ. Yeah, but in order to do that, especially with discounts involved, we want to get to first see um, which range of quantity we go for this. That range of 1 to 199, 2000 to 499, 499, or there's also the 5000 plus. So let us make sense out of this question. So whenever you're dealing with the question on EOQ with discounts, as you can see there, the first step is that determine the economic order quantity at the least or the lowest acquisition price. I hope we're clear there. Determine the EOQ at the lowest um, acquisition price. So what we just know is that, okay, the cost of acquiring each unit is 20 kwacha. That's without any discount. That's just the normal cost. That's why you should understand that 20, that 20 kwacha is the acquisition. Without any discounts, just the normal cost is like 20 kwacha. So how can you even know the lists? So what you're going to do is this. There are those discounts, right? Find the price at each and every discount. And once you do that, you'll be able to know, okay, this is my list price. And that's the one you're going to come and start using your calculation. So let me explain on the next screen. But take note of the details that when I go to the next screen, it actually makes sense. So you had the discount of 0%, 2%, and 5%. So there was that original acquisition price of 20 kwacha. As I said, that 20 kwacha is like it's a price without any discount yet. Therefore, you can easily put that 20 kwacha here because it's a price with zero discount. So that range of units of 1 to 1999 would have that price of 20 kwacha. Then with a further 2% discount, what price would be there? What you just do is that 2% of this 20 is what? It will give you like 0 0.4, which when you subtract from 20, it should land you on 19.6. Okay. Then what about this other one? 5. 5% of uh, 20 kwacha is how much? I think that should be a 0 0.1. Like 0 0.1 somewhere there. Because this other one is 0 0.04, by the way. Sorry, that other one. That's how we subtracted there. This one I think should be 0 0.1. But you should land to this figure, 19. So you found the prices at each discount. Therefore, now those rules can apply on EOQ. That to that uh, the first three is determine the economic order quantity at the lowest acquisition price. The lowest acquisition price is this one, 19. Therefore, let us determine the EOQ at this acquisition price. So what formula are you going to use for EOQ? So when we're still using or calculating economic order quantity with discounts, we use the formula in model one of economic order quantity. Let's get this question right. Okay. Because here it is assumed that there is no safety stock. If there is no safety stock or any other, yeah, there, there's just not that detail about such. Huh? You know you're using the model one EOQ determination formula, which is this one here. So even when you're dealing with such questions like uh, with discounts, this is the, that's the formula you would go for. So what is uh, what do those symbols stand for? D is the cost, ordering cost, okay. 
that's D. D is the demand, sorry, I beg your pardon on that one. S, ordering cost. C is the carrying cost. So these details were there in the paragraph. I'll just start saying them. Hopefully you took notes or you can actually just rewind. So they said that uh, demand is 2,000 units per month. Please take note of this detail. Demand is supposed to be taken annually. Hence, when you're given monthly, what do you do? Convert it by multiplying by 12, because that's the only way you can get to 12 months. Because if it's, if it's per month, to get to 12 times 12, because of 12 months in a year. Giving you 24,000 units as the demand that you should use in the formula there on this screen. S is the carrying cost, it's the order ordering cost, which is 2000. They mentioned in the paragraph. What about C? C is the carrying cost, but they said that it is 75% of acquisition. Yeah, so it has to be charged on the acquisition price, which we are using in this case, which they said start with the lowest acquisition price, which will be 19. According to our calculation, let's, let's find the OQ now. You're going to say 2, by the way, we're in the, we're in the square root. 2 times the demand is 24, I hope I'm moving together there, times the uh, ordering costs 2,000 over carrying cost which is 75%, I'll just put 0 0.75 of 19. Please take note of the way I'm showing my calculations. This is very important, especially that carrying cost was a percentage, you need to show how you're arriving at that figure, so that's why you're showing it 75% of 19. Following steps is very key to gaining full marks. So once you do that, therefore, what would the economic order quantity if you punch everything you're seeing here on the screen? 821. Why have I just rounded off here? I'm sure you'll get some decimals in your calculations. Well, when you're dealing with units, because this should, this answer should be in units. Units are always rounded off to the nearest whole number. Let's take note of that. Yeah, you need most of the time when you're dealing with units, they're supposed to just be rounded off the nearest whole number. Yeah, so in this case, we would go to 821 units. Because like realistically speaking, would you say you have 3.2 units? Yeah, so therefore usually units will just round off the nearest whole number. That's the EOQ at the lowest acquisition cost. Then they ask, test for feasibility. What do they mean by that statement? Well, that EOQ I found 821. Test for feasibility, meaning this 19 quacha price was under which range of units, if you remember. This 19 quacha price was found by the 5% discount, which belonged to which range? 5,000 plus quantity, if you remember that from the question. Therefore, is the 821 in this range? Definitely not. That's what they mean by feasibility. Is that figure you have found within the range where it's uh, this price is coming from? No. Once it's not, you just say you, you would have to recalculate using the next lowest. That's a procedure. So if the lowest one does not come out feasible, next low, the second lowest uh, acquisition, which would be now 19.6. So that's the procedure we work around. Huh? So you would do the same thing, the same thing. So the square root of 2 times the same 24 demand, carrying cost is that over carrying cost, sorry, that was ordering cost 200, carrying cost is still 75%, but of a new acquisition, which is 19.6. This time around, you would get a EOQ of 808 units. You ask yourself, is this one equally feasible at the range of units where the 19.6 belongs to? The 19.6 belonged in this range of 2000 to 4999. Would 808 belong in this range? Where the 19.6 price is falling at that 2% discount? No. I hope we are following there. So, hence, equally, it's not feasible. Then again, you go <laughs> the other price, just next lowest until you reach a point of feasibility. Then you proceed to the next step, which I'm about to explain. So, the, finally, we move on to the last step, which is uh, the last price we have 20 kwacha itself. What would be the EOQ at the 20 kwacha price, which is the final price we have in the question? Yeah, that's the ordering cost, the 200 that side. Carrying is still 75% of acquisition. Acquisition is now 20. Here we're getting 800 flat units. Is this feasible? Go to the range where the 20 kwacha was put in under 0% discount. 
so if, let me just write that well under zero percent discount it was under the range of what one two one nine 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 and we're looking for what 800 do you think it's in with it's within that range definitely this one is feasible so that's how you tell feasibility that if a figure is within the range then it is feasible then after that they say once you've determined the feasible eoq move on to the next step which is calculating the total material cost tmc how do you calculate total material cost calculating the same tmc yeah? total material cost you use the formula which is um, where you look at the annual carrying cost which is just like this multiplied by c denoted by the letter c for carrying cost the, the unit plus annual ordering that's d over q multiplied by s which is the cost per order then plus d, d times acquisition sc so it's just this formula so you begin calculating the total material cost from the eoq that came out feasible which was the 8,800 units you start from there and whatever acquisition that it carried which was uh, 20 if you remember that acquisition was 20 which produced uh, that 800 eoq when we were calculating then you just like feed in so just remember on the q it would be 800 because those are the units and you start with that one the 20 quarter then after you have done the 20 quarter you ask yourself are there any other prices below it if there were no you just test for this one and then that's it but here we know that there are other prices below the 20 quarter which of course produce the feasible eoq so there's a 19.6 waiting for us and there's a 19 flat as well waiting for us to compute the total material costs then at the end of the day what do we do we choose the total material cost that will be the lowest so just a hint so like for the 20 we know okay and on q we'll use 800 suppose we got the other price the 19 19.6 as the, the lowest one just below what would be the q on what q would be, we be substituting you when you go to 19.6 it was uh, actually the the second quantity there which was in this range 2000 to 4999 meaning which one do you put always we always pick the lowest because you're trying you're trying to pick the lowest order quantity that minimizes costs so always even though it's in a range of this to that we pick the lowest in that range so as of this new price of 19.6 it's in this range first of all that's the establishment we've we should uh, establish this point then that which one do you pick is this lowest one that would be your q the other price 19 it's under this range the 5000 plus number of units so here the one which q do you use as of this one it would be just this 5000 as you'll be computing in the usual formula q over what times c remember carrying cost is a percentage they said it's 75 percent of acquisition so it will be changing as of each acquisition that comes by in each uh price that you're using so let me just share a screen so you get to now see how all this can be presented so something like this huh? when you look at this solution here this is how the total material cost computation that part on top is just showing the feasible eoq that was found then of course that's the one you start with as the first computation which was at the price of 20 and then you find the material cost at that first of all figure giving you 492 the second material cost will be at 19.6 as we said if there are any prices below it also calculate total material costs here it gave me 487,500. the third one was 19 flat we said the units we use will be 5000 on q and then we compute 492,585. which one is the lowest 487,500. we pick the lowest total material cost which will even guide us to know which order quantity can we order so once we've picked the total material cost the lowest one was ourselves okay this lowest one has come from which acquisition price 19.6 well therefore you ask yourself now which quantities were in the 19.6 range there was the 200 there was the 2000 to 4 triple nine huh? meaning you which one is lower as we said if it's a range you go for the lowest one so therefore the best order quantity they can go for is just 2000 because they're minimizing costs huh? yeah so in this case you would pick the 2000 that's what they can order so basically that's the trick behind this your q with discounts you have to reach this stage of total material cost which helps you make the final decision of what 
to go for.